Bernese Mountain Dog is a very popular breed for families across the world due to their well-renowned, loving and gentle nature. In today's video, we will be looking at the specifics of this breed, in particular the controversial topic of tail docking and why a Bernese Mountain Dog may have this done. Welcome back to the Fenrir Bernese Mountain Dog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Bernese Mountain Dog, then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect burners. So if you're a lifelong Bernese Mountain Dog lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Bernese Mountain Dog video. So let's jump straight into today's video and find out whether or not the affectionate Bernese Mountain Dog is still subject to being cropped and docked and why that is. Tail docking is simply a way of altering the length of a dog's tail for a range of different reasons. Reasons. A working dog's tail was historically docked for practical reasons, which included to prevent any tail injuries due to being a working breed that would experience a large amount of physical activity. Also, fighting breeds would have their tail docked in order to reduce any perceived point of weakness in the dog. It is said that there was also a point in time when people believed that tail docking could improve a dog's back strength and their speed and even to avoid the risk of having rabies. However, these beliefs have since been disproven. Many people still dock dogs' tails today, mostly for the practical reasons, but also for the fact that they prefer the look of the dog with a docked tail. So it's more about personal preference. There are a lot of debates surrounding tail cropping and docking in regard to the ethical issues that come with them. The main concern is whether or not tail docking is a cruel action towards the dog and if it causes them pain. Knowing whether the dog experiences pain is a difficult issue to have a solid answer to, but no tail docking can be completely painless. Some methods that are used are used to cause the least amount of pain to the puppy. It's said that getting the puppy's tail cropped and docked as early as you can will mean that there's less pain for them. It is a job that should be done by a professional vet and not a non-professional as this can end up leading to major health issues for the puppy and even put their life at risk. A puppy's general health should be assessed and evaluated before doing the operation to know if they can cope with it. When getting your puppy, if it has a dog's tail, make sure that you're certain that they had it done by a professional. There are many organisations across the globe that have banned tail docking completely. This includes all types, like docking for cosmetic purposes and practical purposes. It is believed that many more countries will end up implementing law against tail docking due to the massive controversy that surrounds it. Some owners choose to dock the tail of their Bernese Mountain Dogs so that to avoid any risk of injury, which has been researched and suggested that those puppies who had their tails docked at a young age are at a lower risk of being injured via their tail. It is typical for working dogs or guard dogs to have their tails docked for the reason of reducing injury when they're carrying out their roles. Having a Bernese Mountain Dog as a family companion that is not being used as a working dog makes the whole tail docking process seem pointless as there are no situations where they would need the practical purposes of dock tails. There are many misconceptions surrounding whether or not their tail being docked allows for increased strength and speed as so many people have seen no difference at all between the tails that are docked and dogs with natural tails. Over many years and through careful selective breeding, the Bernese Mountain Dog has proven to be incredibly trustworthy and reliable dogs, both out as working dogs and in a home environment, which makes them an amazing breed for first-hand dog owners. They are well-renowned for their sensitive nature, as you may already be aware of and they are known as being incredible family guardians that are protective but gentle giants. The Bernese Mountain Dog has a naturally devoted nature and is known to be loyal and caring towards their owner. Keeping your dog's natural tail is also argued by the point of like all dogs, they use it to communicate with you, emotions such as happiness and distress. A dog having a tail means that these emotions are much easier to see and understand. Also, tail docking is very expensive. A lot of breeders save money by not having their puppies' tails docked. 
It's a very controversial subject and in the UK, tail docking is considered to be a mutilation, making the practice illegal in England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. However, there are some exceptions, including if the removal is done by a vet for medical reasons or for certain breeds of working dogs. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If so, please make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below, and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated Bernie's videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Bernie's Mountain Dog Show.